All right, so today we're going to learn the different sketch tools that we have in Onshape. So to get started, we're going to start a sketch by clicking the pencil icon up here or holding Shift and S. And then it's going to ask us to pick a sketch plane. So I'm going to click the top one. And remember for our keyboard shortcuts, the letter N is going to make it normal. And if I press the letter P, it's going to hide or show all my planes. So if I press P again, it'll show it. And P again will hide all my planes. So what we're going to focus today is just on this line feature right here. If you hover over it and you let your mouse sit there for a second, you'll see that it says uh, line and then in parentheses it has the letter L. So for our shortcut, whatever that in that parentheses is, is what you need to press to use that function or that, that sketching tool. So uh, sketch a line segment or series of line segments by pressing the letter L. So I can click it up on the toolbar or I can press the letter L. Now every sketch you ever want to do, you're always going to want to orient yourself from the origin. You always start from that, that base point. So get in the habit of doing that, whether you're doing circles, uh, you know, rectangles, whatever shape you're making, always base something off of that center point origin. So we're going to go ahead and click once and you'll see that if I click one time, it's going to act like a lock to pivot point. So then wherever I go next, I click again and it will give me a series of lines. I can just keep going one point, point to point to point to point. And once I complete my shape, you will see that it'll turn to a gray color denoting that it is a complete polygon and that it can be manipulated more from there so i'm going to go ahead and undo all of that by pressing Control z um the next part is so we learned that we can draw a line by clicking from point to point the other thing is if i press and hold so i click and drag and then let go. So I was holding on to that the whole time. You'll see it only drew one line. So I didn't get to continue from this point like we did before. So if I click and hold and let go, I just get a bunch of single lines in whatever direction I need them to go. But if I hold, I press and click each point, I will get point after point after point. The escape button will let you get out of whatever tool you're in. So I want to select everything and delete. And one thing to show you guys while we're right here is if I click from the, the right and I go to the left, my selection box is going to be orange. So anything that is touching that orange selection box is going to be selected. So you'll see I didn't select these other segments down here because they were not inside of that selection box. If I do the same type of box, but I go from the left to the right, you'll see it's a blue selection box and everything inside of that box now has to be completely encased in order for it to be selected. So if I do that, you'll see that I didn't select that line or that line, even though it was touching, these were the only segments that were completely inside. But to delete everything really quick, just a big orange rectangle around it, press the backspace key or the delete key, and it'll delete everything you need to. So um, one other thing when you're doing lines to pay attention to is that if I start from that origin, you'll notice that two things. One, if I go straight up, you'll see a dotted orange line. Um, on some of your screens, it might make it look like it's a green because the blue plus the orange kind of makes it look like a little bit of a green color. Um, but you'll see that a, a vertical line pops up next to it, and that's your vertical constraint. If I go to the side, to the right, you'll see a horizontal line will do the same thing. And then the other thing you'll see is that numbers start to populate right next to it. Okay, So if I wanted to make a straight vertical line from my origin, I'll draw and click. And the second I click, you'll see my blue text turns into a black text in a text box. Now, human nature, we all want to come and click here and type in that text box. But if you notice, it's already in there. I can just type whatever I want in there. So if I have 4.107, I can type 5, and now I have a 5-inch line. Then I can come over here, draw a line there, and now I need that to be 3 inches. 
I want this one to come straight out. That needs to be 2.5, okay? Another cool thing about Onshape is, let's say I want this to be um, eight inches, but I don't know how to express that. Maybe it's a, it's a math problem or whatever, I don't know. I can actually do algebra in it. I can say five plus three, and that will actually show up and press enter, and it'll make it, you'll see, eight inches long, and we end up with a closed shape. Now, this looks all good, but things to pay attention to is making sure that you actually are a complete closed shape. So we'll fix that with a coincident tool right there. And you'll see now I have a complete closed shape. The difference on the dimensions are you'll see that this one shows the F tool there. That stands for function because we did a function in there, okay? If for whatever reason you didn't like that measurement, let's say I wanted this to actually be four inches, just double click on it and type four, enter, and you'll notice it skews everything along with it and it changes it. So let's say this needed to be 10 inches, not five plus three. You'll see it changes. Maybe I want that 12 and it'll skew everything. So make sure you're paying attention to exactly what it is. The reason the shape keeps changing is because I don't have dimensions all the way around. Um, stay tuned in another video. I will show you how to do dimensioning and we'll have some practice drawings for you guys to do dimensions. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the line tool. Again, remember if I'm drawing a line, I can click the button and hold and I'm going to get a single line. If I click it once and click it again, and click it again. If I click, single click, single click, single click, single click, I'm going to get a bunch of segments and I'm going to pop off that last line that I did each time. So um, that's going to be it for the line feature. Um, if you have any questions, sh shoot me a message on Instagram. Uh, leave a comment here on the video. Um, but that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys.